Comica Vimo C. And actually, it's not those two microphones which you're listening to. This is the Zoom ZPC1, but those little ones here, down here, those two microphones, as you can see here, maybe let me zoom a little bit closer. By the way, the Insta Ace Pro is wearing glasses today. When we get closer, you see this little receiver as part of the game is receiving wirelessly signals from those two transmitters wind muff attached because I want to avoid any plosive sounds just first I want to give you a general overview and the structure The structure will be, there is also time warp links down in the video description, so you can just access any point of your interest directly. One more thing for the configuration, I'm recording now with this ZPC-1 into the Tascam X8, just a two-channel recording. Let's just jump in directly. We are going to have a, a general introduction on the different versions, C1, C2, C3 from Comica. We are going to check all the accessories which come with those different editions. This is going to be a manual of the receiver of the transmitter. We are going to check the battery case and we are going to check how pairing is functioning. All those things including the technical data. Then we are going to go into the audio test for both transmitters and of course in the end there will be <clears throat> no no I won't call it the final verdict it's just my own personal conclusion yeah so there will be also some time warp links in the description as already mentioned let's jump in maybe just for you to understand the whole setup the ace pro is receiving via this cable the audio output of this receiver here then we have those two running through the x8 as i already said and the sony a6700 is receiving the audio signal from here which is also a stereo signal no noise reduction applied so this is the original sound of this space which you hear here those different editions you are seeing it here also the c1 is just like one receiver and one transmitter obviously then the next version c2 has two transmitters and one receiver. The C3 version has two transmitters, one receiver and the battery case, which basically looks like this one. Yeah, you can put both of them in here and you can also charge it. Um, and there is also a little reset uh, knob. So this is all very compact and I have to tell you that now listening to these uh, two microphones, I already did some kind of listenings before, I'm pretty surprised about the audio quality. Of course, it's not like a professional microphone like those others around, but nonetheless, omnidirectional mics, I'm super surprised you have them now in stereo mode. Actually, do we have them in stereo mode? No, it's mono mode, sorry. So let's get to stereo mode basically. Um, let's let me see. You have to turn it on. So now this is stereo mode and also the ZPC-1 is in stereo mode and also the ECM-S1 in stereo mode. Let's go on. So just now you understand which kind of variations you have and my personal suggestion is of course to have the fully equipped version because you also get this kind of battery case here and all kind of cables which we'll get to in a second in detail. Let me see. Did you see anything? Yeah. I think it's okay. Did I mention already the Ace Pro is wearing glasses? It's uh, four dioptries. Yeah, I, I found these glasses in, in just like a grocery store and I cut them and put them here using these rubber things. Looks maybe a little bit funny, but okay, anyway. So the accessories, yeah? Next page. Here you have everything at a glance and to decrypt this whole line down here, 
All accessories come with all of the editions except in C3 version, which is being presented right here. You get two of the wind muffs, which is number one, you see here. So two of them, of course, and also it's with C2 because you have two transmitters. So necessarily you need also two wind muffs to work securely outside. Besides that, Let's check right here directly. I have <clears throat> this one cable. It's a TRS TRS cable, 3.5 millimeter. It's identical with the one that I'm using to connect the Ace Pro to the receiver here. But uh, the one I'm using is a little bit longer. That's why. So this is the one you get here. Um, next, you have this very interesting adapter, which you can use <clears throat> to connect uh, this side to your receiver, but also to a smartphone, for example. And then you have a headphone output jack here, and you can charge parallel using this USB-C output. Next one, accessory. It's this one. This is a TRS TRR. S, yeah, so basically this is like a smartphone adapter for your microphone. And then you have a USB-A to USB-C cable for charging. As I already explained, this charging unit here, it has this connector inside. When you put those microphones inside, they will just magnetically click in here and then you can just charge everything at once using this box. And last but not least, of course, there's also this additional box here. Sorry, this additional box, which uh, just contains everything. Yeah, so you have a very, I mean, only I think maybe road now with the new uh, pro line, they do similar things, but uh, they have the charging adapter directly connected here. But then you have two boxes and here everything is in one. As I told you already, like compared to many other wireless mics, I was really surprised about the size of those very, very tiny transmitters, but it comes also with some kind of downsides, which we will get into detail uh, later. So next point, this was, I will explain you how the transmitter is working. Here you can see on paper, all those things connected. I also did a photo of it. Let's just take one of these transmitters and I'm going to just switch to any other microphone, if you don't mind. So transmitter, I'll take away the wind muff. Here you have the microphone, here you have an LED. Uh, on the other side, there is nothing. That side, it's a power on off button and you can use this button, activate the noise reduction. Plus you have a pairing button at this um, function here. This is right now uh, lighting up blue. If I activate noise canceling, it will turn green. If I go to mute mode using this one up here, oh, sorry, this is then switching off. I'm going to switch it back on. Hopefully it's going to switch back on. Sometimes they need a little second. Yeah. So this is again now in noise cancelling mode. And if I just uh, short press this one up here, then this will be in mute mode, which is also shown here on the receiver, as you can see, mute. By the way, I can turn around the display by holding this button pressed here. So maybe it's better now for you. Now I will just keep everything uh, to my direction and then rotate the image later. That's all the functions of the receiver. Let me get back to the normal mode here and I will reconnect the wind muff as well. Now we have the next uh, point on our list, which is the receiver. Yeah? So receiver, you see all the four sides. Yeah? And I will try to explain everything in detail. On that side, as I told you already, you can use this as a headphone output together with this adapter here. Just plug it in, then you have have a normal headphone output and you can charge at the same time. This button press and hold will turn around the display flip around the display as I already told you both of them is for pairing but it's actually not necessary as long as it don't change anything. Activating the pairing I will explain you later. So on the other side of the receiver, you have the mode button, which is to 
turn on and off the receiver. As you saw already, uh, pressing it long, it will turn it off. And then if you want to change these modes here, you just uh, click once. So this is going to light up and then you can change between safety mode. So then one track is going to be recorded more silent compared to the other one. Then you have the mono mode here, which basically means both channels are being recorded with the same value and mixed into like one. Then you have the stereo mode, which is a classical stereo field, which you I think this is my suggestion. And maybe also it sounds a little bit better you can still turn it uh, transform it into a mono track uh, later and that's it yeah so that's how you can change the different modes i go back to stereo now and here you have the output and by the way if you are changing the volume yeah, just by pressing like once here it's not only changing the volume inside the headphones it's also changing the sensitivity of each of the mics so you have like volume one two three four on maximum here and because i'm not so loud of course i keep both tracks on volume four so that about uh, the receiver battery case i basically explained you already so one more i will just show you and i take out this one here yeah. just put it in it won't fall off and you can do the same with the two microphones and then you close it and it's going to charge everything inside here which is very comfortable I'm kind of missing an LED information that this is now charging the internal mics and I don't know at what point they are really full. Yeah? So it's not really obvious uh, to me. This could be changed by the company and here you just have some kind of serial number and here you have this kind of like charging access. And both microphones, yeah, we had a look already. You can also charge everything just directly using the USB here. And by the way, when you take it out, it turns on by itself. When you put it back in, it turns off by itself, which is very comfortable. And also, I would say this is one of the main reasons why you should, of course, change the C3 over the C2 and especially over the C1, because in the C1, you don't even have stereo option because just one transmitter. So next point, uh, receive a battery case. Pairing, I will explain now. So if you want to do pairing, you press those two buttons at the same time for a few seconds. And then you have to press the button on, let me just check, I will show you of course. You have to press this button here down and hold it until finally this LED is going to light up blue. Yeah, because before, like in pairing mode, it's going to flash very fast, like ding, 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 ding. And then uh, once this one lights up blue, you will also see here that it is connected. Basically, this is how the pairing is functioning. Uh, technical data, I think they're here. Yeah, so here, for the technical data. I won't go into all the details, of course, but very important is this one is running on 2.4 gigahertz, which is kind of critical because many data are running on 2.4 gigahertz most of the Wi-Fi networks and so on. But therefore it's legit to use it wherever you want. But it can also have a reduced transfer performance. Yeah? What's also interesting is your maximum, like let's say 80 to 20 kilohertz. So it's not very low sensitivity. There is not even a low cut filter inside. So maybe it's better like this. What is really interesting also here is the time of usage, charging time, two hours and uh, standby time, eight hours, eight hours. Yeah, this could also be used for and the temperatures, yeah, temperature. So it's very lightweight and you see it's very, very tiny. This is the uh, objective measures of everything here, technical data. So let's go into the audio test. Oh, what have we here? I made some notes here. How long is the video, by the way? Hope not too long. It's not even showing the frame. Oh, I have to change something. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> audio test, yeah? Of course, the ZPC-1 
can it's anyway always running in mono but they are matched pair of microphones they are running in stereo mode now and also this one running in stereo so let's switch to mono mode and i will just make a mono track out of these two zpc ones here so click i'm doing this intentionally here with the machine because i had the impression the stereo sounds really the stereo quality sounds somehow different yeah maybe also i'm going to use why not put this one a little bit more like this so it's also mono so this is an audio test in mono mode zpc1 they are both connected i was also connecting the vimo c3 to mono mode here and the sony ecm s1 is now in directional polar pattern basically the cardioid pattern so the next point this is speech then there will be music as an example test i'm wearing the gloves it's actually really nice to have the voice control by the way in this one now i'm recording horizon steady with the ace pro if you're interested in a deep uh, review of low light functions just click up here so by now i'm recording with the full aim x5 no noise cancelling activated and you can just listen a little bit to the snow We are going to compare it directly to the Vimo X3. No, it's not X3, C3. <laughs> and now this is the Vimo C3 actually. No noise cancelling at the time. I'm sorry, I forgot the wind muff uh, here. This is the problem when you cannot put it directly into the box. So I should have been taking the box outside of the box. This is what it sounds like. Listen to the snow. The camera now switched off saying the card is too slow even though I was just recording in 4K 30p. Maybe it was just because of the temperature. Anyway, here you have a direct comparison to the internal front microphone of the Ace Pro. Stop recording. Stop recording. Now again we go to stereo. Mm -hmm. Stereo. Let's see. This is already stereo and this is stereo. And I'm going to transform the recording to stereo. So this is now stereo, stereo, stereo. That means like stereo, stereo, ZPC1, Vimo C3 and ECMS1 in stereo mode. Yeah? So and then uh, basically we have actually we forgot the noise cancelling. This we have to do one more. So let's turn on noise cancelling on both of those of these tick green tick green is it green uh, because here on the display it, it doesn't show yeah and we are also going to put the s1 into noise cancelling mode and now you hear the difference between the vimo c3 in noise cancelling mode and 
the S1 in noise cancelling mode, both in stereo. Let's go back to mono and do the same one more. So now this is the mono mode, which basically means like a cardioid pattern here on the S1 and mono mode in the sense of those two channels are connected, unified into one. Let's get into the pros of the Vimo C3. They are really like super small and lightweight, as I already mentioned, compared to other wireless mics. Next point, super simple operability, as I was already demonstrating you in all the other chapters. Uh, less functions means less hustle, of course. So the more simple the construction is, the less errors you can do. Uh, they have a super convenient wind muff as well. Let me just show you because you know this one here. In most of other kind of like wireless mics, you have like holes inside in the DJI mic and in the full aim X5 also, for example. And then you kind of drill this wind muff in and you have to rotate it and then also to take it out it's something like this and then this you have to do every time when you want to charge it whereas this one here it's really so simple yeah you just push it in and that's it so this is super convenient to my mind that's how i would see it next one charging inside the charging box of course this can also be done with some of the other wireless mics but just for you to remember and then there is this point of the money yeah so this setup is quite affordable compared to other brands like dji Rode, sony and so forth now we come for the negative points because i want to be very transparent in uh, what i show you and explain you here so the cons this is the transmitter here and basically there is no input no input so you cannot connect any lavalier mic or something like this it means also when you connect them to to your pullover somewhere to your shirt then of course this is going to be seen all the time yeah instead like a lavalier mic you could hide it somewhere no internal recording this is really something you should consider because uh, some of the other wireless mics you have an internal chip to record the audio which you're working with like let's say if there is an interference outside and the transmission between transmitter and receiver is destructed then you will not have a good audio signal recorded in your camera like um, the ace pro recording here but there would be a backup recording inside which is not available here and then last point no magnetic clip system as available with many other brands yes that's also this point here because for example with the full aim x5 you have this part as magnetic here and you have a little metal clip which you can just put maybe for example on the back side of your shirt and then click it on like this but with this one you have to somehow fold your shirt and then connect like this which looks really funny i think but uh, yeah that's how it is and maybe they will have an additional product to fix this or maybe you can build something yourself but yeah this at first glance to my mind this is the three points which could be better but just remember you know they are very affordable they are very simple and you know maybe people don't mind to just put it up here and then it's in a safe place or you just have a different like a polo shirt or whatever and just click it in here and then it's absolutely no problem so you decide anyway you like thanks for your attention we just go for the next one this was half an hour crazy Stop. Mm -hmm. so 33 percent das ist ein wenig wird wohl nicht reichen mm -hmm. let's try it anyway so dann machen wir hier aufnahme